Okay, here we are at Freeston Shore. And for anyone who hasn't been here before, here's a really quick tour. Walking down this path from the car park, you eventually come across this bird hide. It's the only hide here. And then a little bit further on, up these steps, you come to this platform, which is the wetland watch point, which overlooks, of course, wetland. It's a sunny day, but it's very windy. And uh, walking further up the path gives you uh, several viewpoints of the main lagoon. Eventually the path leads you up some more steps to the uh, top of the bank which overlooks the vast areas of salt marsh that is the wash. As you can see here the bank splits in two with this sort of offshoot going off from the main bank which affords more views of the lagoon before eventually bringing you back to the car park. So here we are in the bird hide and out of the wind at last and as we open the hide windows we have little grebes on view immediately. It's nice to enjoy the relative comfort of the bird hide, a nice hot drink, uh, get set up and just see what comes along. Freeston Shore is only around about three or four miles further on than Frampton Marsh. And like Frampton Marsh there's a lot of Brent geese on view. These are probably on the way to Frampton now. And also coming in we've got a huge skein of grey lag geese plumage being caught by the uh, winter light there. As I said it's a cold wind blowing today but it's so nice to have some sunshine after all the, the grey and the wet we've had this winter so far. Oh, the grey lag's just coming in to land there. And a few of the Brents have landed, there's a small group there. We've also got some mute swan, uh, unfortunately no hoopers or buicks here today. And uh, Curlew, just on the island there. Also uh, Godwit, I think this is a black tailed Godwit. And there we have Goldeneye, both males and females, but a long way off though. This is the uh, striking male. And uh, Young Herring Gull. A few lapwing dotted here and there as well. And uh, Mallard of course, including this white one which I presume is a hybrid of some sort. Oyster catcher. Distinctive white mark uh, under its eye. A few people up on the bank now braving the wind. And also just notice we've got uh, quite a few pintail on the island there. Most of them asleep with their heads tucked in their wings. And uh, lots of uh, these birds, the red shank here. You can see there how lovely the light is today, really beautiful. We've also got uh, some widgeon grazing there, but uh, I'll leave the best till last because just in front of the hide we've got excellent views of these turnstone as they came in, bathed in the uh, beautiful winter light, so I'll leave you with that and see you next time.